Hedy Lamarr, born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler, was a brilliant actress of the 1930s and 40s, whose fame soared with the Austrian Czech film Ecstasy, 1933. This film is considered the first erotic movie, featuring a scene where a 19-year-old girl bathes naked in a forest lake for 10 minutes, shocking the audience of that time. While viewers criticize the openness, they flock to theaters to witness a scene that is considered innocent by today's standards. After the film's release, Lamar's parents hastily married her off. Her husband, Fritz Mandel, an Austrian millionaire involved in weapon manufacturing, tried to buy all copies of the scandalous film featuring his wife, sparking even more public interest. Mandel treated Lamar as another expensive possession, proudly displaying her as his beautiful wife everywhere, even bringing her to weapons development meetings. Lamar, casting alluring glances toward business partners, simultaneously absorbed the discussions at these meetings. For four years, Hedy Lamar lived as a bird in a gilded cage. She ingeniously escaped from her husband, drugging her chambermaid, donning her dress, and descending from the castle's top floor using a rope ladder. Attending her husband's meetings, she, more than anyone else, understood the scale of the fascist threat looming over Europe. Lamar boarded the ship, Normandy, and sailed to America. Fortunately, the States hadn't forgotten the actress's new triumph, offering her a lucrative contract under the condition that she change her name from Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler to the more marketable pseudonym, Hedy Lamar. During World War II, Hedy Lamar approached the U.S. government with her innovative ideas for improving remote torpedo control and frequency hopping technology. The Inventors Council in the State Department smiled condescendingly and advised the actress to help the country by shining on screen. The first person to seriously consider Lamar's ideas was George Antile, an avant-garde composer. The concept evolved over several months, resulting in the patent for the secret communication system. Though ahead of its time, the invention wasn't implemented, and the government shelved it. Only in 1962, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, did Lamar's idea get refined and put to military use. Later, Hedy Lamar's invention became fundamental to the development of Wi-Fi technology. In the 1990s, some enthusiasts, learning about the pioneer of wireless computer networks, attempted unsuccessfully to nominate Hedy Lamar for the Congressional Medal of Honor. Only in 1997 was the brilliant mind of the Hollywood beauty recognized, making her the first woman to receive the Bowlby Nass Spirit of Achievement Award, dubbed the Oscar of the Inventing World. Hedy Lamar's birthday, November 9th, is celebrated in the United States as Inventor's Day. She passed away on January 19, 2000, in Orlando, Florida, at the age of 86. Per her will, Lamar's ashes were scattered in her homeland. Austria, in the Vienna woods, in 2014, her name was posthumously inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in the United States.